guys. Today I have a new video for you. Welcome back to Simply Avalon. I am Avalon and the video that I have for you today is what to watch this winter. So if you're anything like me, you kind of like to watch TV, especially when you have free time, but you never have free time. So and I've decided to take all of the hard work out of it for you and just figure out some TV shows that I feel like are going to be good this year and also some TV shows that I just like to watch. So if you're interested, keep on watching. But before we actually get to that, can we just talk about how I have like new glasses? Like I got these yesterday. I'm not, I've already filmed two videos though, so I'm not sure which video I'm gonna actually have up first, but do we like them? Like, I kinda like them. Anyway, let's get to the video. So, firstly, if you notice that I have my laptop here, it's because that I've actually put the list and when each of the TV shows are coming on just so I don't have to just like memorize it. So if you see me turn this way, it's because I am looking at my laptop as you can see. So, my first TV show that I've actually already watched because it came on on January 4th is Superstore. Oh my gosh, I never thought I was actually into comedy until I watched this TV show. I'm not even kidding. I usually watch shows like How to Get Away with Murder and Scandal, and then this show came out and rocked my world. And let me just say, Jamie for life. You will not understand that until you watch the show because I'm not giving away anything, but Jamie needs to happen. I don't Why? Computer, why? Okay, sorry, my computer just went off. Next TV show is Blind Spot. It's actually on NBC and it already finished its first season, but it is coming back. It's been renewed and all of the episodes are available on demand. And I have checked on DirecTV and Xfinity. It is available on demand. So if you are interested in getting into an amazing show, which let me kind of explain. This girl was literally zipped into a bag and placed in the middle of New York and she has no memories at all and she has tattoos all over her body and what happens is they at first think it's a bomb and then they think that she's a terrorist and a whole bunch of other things but she cannot remember anything except stuff like how to walk how to talk she does not remember her name she does not remember if she has family she doesn't remember if she was married all that kind of stuff but she still knows how to like use a gun how to fight it is amazing and I don't use that word too too much when it comes to TV shows because I've watched so many good TV shows but oh my gosh this TV show is a roller coaster ride okay so the next TV show that is actually coming on ABC Family but they are changing it to freeform like seriously either way it's Shadow Hunters and it is coming out on January the 12th and if you are anything like me and you actually read the books Anyway, so since I actually have no Wi-Fi, let's just go back to the Word document and go to TV show number three. And that is DC's Legends of Tomorrow. And it's coming out on January 21st on CW, just in case you were wondering. And this TV show, if you watch The Flash or if you watch Arrow, this is going to be amazing because it's literally pairing up all of the villains and they're all on a team and they're almost like saving the world if you've watched the commercials, and I am so, so, so excited for this TV show to come out. Like, if you know Cold Snart, he's from The Flash, that's a reference. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be like the star of the TV show, and what is happening to my boys? But he's gonna be the star of the TV show, and it's going to be amazing, I promise. So the next one is Degrassi Next Class, and this one's actually on Netflix, and it comes out on January 15th. And I actually don't have Netflix, but I loved Degrassi while it was still on Nickelodeon. So if you are actually still interested in Degrassi or just want to get into it, it's just a TV show about teenagers in high school and the problems that they face. And Next one is also on Netflix and it is Fuller House. If you were like me and you watched Full House, I really need to stop saying that phrase. But if you watch Full House, then this is almost like a continuation of it, except it will not have the twins in it. And again, I do not have Netflix, but some of my friends have been talking about how this is going to be a great TV show, and I loved Full House as a kid. So if you're interested, definitely go on to Netflix 
on February 26th when it comes out. So, the next thing that I have is actually not necessarily a TV show, but it comes on TV, and it is Grease Live. If you watch NBC, you know that they come out with a whole bunch of traditional TV shows, and they make them into like a Broadway production that's shown on TV one or two nights. And they're always usually really, really good. Some that they've done in the past are The Wiz, they've also done um, The Sound of Music, and I think they've done like two others, but those are the only ones that I can remember at this moment. And this comes out on January 31st. And if you watch Dancing with the Stars, you'll know that one of the judges, Julianne Hoff, is going to be the star of the show. She's going to be playing Sandy. And also, Vanessa Hudgens is also going to be in the show, so... I'm kind of excited, although I literally just watched Grease a week ago for the first time. And then the next TV show that I have is actually on BBC America, because I love BBC America. And um, it is London Spy. Really, really good. It's almost like a cross between like a romance film and like a James Bond. And basically it's about this normal person who gets dragged into some espionage business that he had no interest in being in just because he met a random friend and it's all kinds of complicated but this is a mini series so it's not going to be a full out tv show at least not for now and it comes out on january 21st 2016 and i'm pretty sure that it's already out in britain but that is just when it's going to be coming out in the u.s so the next tv show that i have has again already come out and it came out on the same night as um the superstore and it is telenovela one name okay eva longoria oh my gosh i love her as an actress so so much she is literally so so funny and i've only watched one episode of this i've missed the last one but i can tell you that this show is probably going to be super amazing and it's about her she's like a non-spanish speaking actress on a popular spanish tv show and it's just about how she has to work with her ex-husband and how a bunch of weird stuff happened to her okay it's one of the most over the top and weird tv shows but at the same time it remains Super, super fun. So, the last two TV shows that I have. Why does my hands look like it's glowing? Okay, sorry, I kind of need to do that. Okay, and the last two TV shows that I have are actually TV shows that I think almost everyone has watched at least once in their life. And it's The Bachelor, which is on ABC, and Biggest Loser, which is on NBC. And these are reality TV shows that I mean... I just force myself to watch just because I have nothing else to do, but they always turn out to be good, okay? Yeah. So there's some other TV shows that I actually wanted to put on this, but I actually think I want to make this a series and actually have winter edition, spring edition, etc, etc. You know what I'm saying. So, if you enjoyed this video, or even if you didn't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave me a comment down below of what TV shows you're interested in watching this coming winter season and new year. Sorry if my face is glowing like way too much. I have no idea, I'm just sitting in front of a window and it's happening. Bye guys.